Hey, sweet friends, I am sharing my favorite rustic farmhouse bunnies with you again. Now, this is a faster version. Uh, if you would like to see the slower version, I will have the links to the original videos in the description below. So just check out the description box. Now, these beautiful poinsettia flowers um, are from a vendor. I know I'm going to get questions about that. Where did you get those from? I had them in my stash um, from Christmas uh, for the local gift shop that I work part time for. And I thought that they would be perfect for these cute little farmhouse bunnies. Now, did you notice that that bunny had a black nose on it? And so I wanted to make a farmhouse bunny. So I was playing around with the black nose. Well, then I was like, mm, those look too much like mice. So I ended up going ahead and painting over those black noses and then adding some glitter to the nose as for some extra sparkle and pizzazz. So I wanted to explain that part because in some of the video, you will see uh, some of the bunnies with black noses, but that's the reason why. Okay, I um, started with these uh, scrap wood, they're two by fours. Um, I will leave the size of the bunnies here on the screen so that you will know. I gave each of them two coats of white chalk paint. Then now I am going uh, around the sides doing some shading with my gray paint and uh, starting out I just dip half of my brush in paint half of my brush in water blend it on a paper towel then I go around it and I uh, give the shading like that now since these were rustic farmhouse bunnies I did um, a sh uh, layer of gray then I go back over it and give a layer of the brown because I like the combination of both of those for my rustic farmhouse um, little things here and uh, so anyway for the cheeks I like my cheeks to be more rectangle up and down so I'm just using a stencil brush and stippling on some cheeks and then I'll go back over and just give some white shading and also shade around the cheeks and make the eyes and just make everything so cute and fun Okay, I am calling these my picket scrap bunnies. Uh, and the reason is, is because this was an old fence. These boards were that my uh, brother and sister-in-law gave it to me many years ago. And I just never did anything with them until now because that is what I do. I'm such a craft hoarder. Anyway, so um, these boards were the long uh, pickets. They were like, you know, for a fence. Anyway, so I just had my husband cut them down so that I could um, maneuver uh, and handle them a little bit better. And so what I did is I gave each of them two coats of white chalk paint. Now, when I say two coats, I didn't go very heavy. I wanted it to be enough coverage, but I didn't want it to be totally solid. I hope that that makes sense. For my 
painted bunnies here I have been using a small wooden hearts and it's just because I have an abundance of those left over from my woodworking days and my craft show days so I have a lot of these on hand you can get them uh, anywhere unfinished uh, wood pieces are sold like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, any of those places have unfinished wood in different shapes and sizes. Um, uh, a furniture plug would work, a button, a uh, if you really want a heart and you don't have it, you can cut it out of foam board or scrapbook paper, uh, cardboard, an old cereal box, fun foam, uh, construction paper, um, or you can get, you know, someone to cut some wood shape out for you that would work as well don't stress about it um, that is one of the things that I uh, uh, questions that I got is what can they use for a nose um, anything I've even seen people use old bo bottle caps um, search Pinterest because you will get a ton of ideas anyway so I'm just continuing here by just shading my uh, bunnies just adding some dimension and depth and making them really cute <laughs> 